everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Vectorio, or welcome to it if you missed my first little series on this. Uh, so Vectorio is interesting. It's kind of a cross between, I mean, it's a tower defense game, but with like an economy sort of industry system, it's real weird. And it's real cool. Oh, okay. So we can do presets, normal, resource rich, scavenger, nightmare, chaos, and peaceful. Uh, frankly, I like the idea of just going on resource rich. Yeah, so we get twice as many enemies, but we get a lot more stuff a long way. Thought you said Factorio. Snap my head to watch. No, it's Vectorio, which, I mean, the similarities are very intentional. Oh, and they got rid of the small enemy bases. In normal mode, at least. Well, we'll see how this goes. Place a drone port. Oh, these are new. Okay. Nice. Escape to exit build mode. Then click on the drone port you just placed. No. Resource drone. It's going to start producing resource drones. Escape to leave this. All right, so first and foremost, game got even louder. Okay, now place down a collector on a gold node. So you select it by pressing three. Okay, you need gold storage. Eat open buildings. Okay, you can assign buildings. Click on the logistics tab. Gold storage. And place the gold storage down. Yeah, each port. This is gonna be interesting. Can I make more? No, so I, ugh. all right. Oh, here we go. I guess I have to just continue the tutorial. You'll now send out a resource drone to farm gold. Okay, heat will increase, more enemies. Now that my heat's increased, place it on the turret to watch over my gold. Fair enough. Okay, manage your power. You can only supply it so much, and that's it. Okay, so let's zoom out a lot. We've got some space, okay, but the enemies are just gonna be coming in kind of on the reg. Okay, and we are we are going to need some storage. Because this gold storage is not as useful as I'd like it to be. Does the drone always have to re-enter the gold drone port, or is that just because they're in a line? Don't know. I think it ha has to, but I could be wrong. Whoop. Oh boy, those drone ports are expensive. Okay, I've got plenty of power. I'm just going to set this up and we'll figure out the rest as we go along. Going to have to build something a little closer to the base. Eventually I'll rip this whole dang thing up and reorganize it. Mostly I'm just worried about getting sufficient funding. Let's see. First I'm using Twitch and it's better than I expected. Oh, welcome. Hopefully it remains better than expected. Question mark. I'm not entirely sure what expectations can be. Okay, this is weird. Do I want to get another drone port? It's very expensive, though. So I probably want one drone port per... Wait, you'll need about 12 per. 12 what? 12 drone, drone ports? Wait, what? Why did it stop? Are they inactive? Oh, no, no, no. We're... We're maxed out. Okay, so we're just gonna get a bunch of those. So you're saying I should have another drone port on this. Okay. Well, at least the money starts scaling up pretty fast once we get past the initial... costs. Um... Wow, I'm... Okay, this is gonna be a bit messy. I was really hoping they just, uh, collect from all of the nodes that they're attached to. Um, and then, then move it over here. Wait. Oh, maybe I had it set to a, a money drone. Okay, to boost the heat up, but maybe we're okay. If I place 50 collectors, I get the enhancer. Let's do that. Unfortunately, it's gonna take a bit before it goes, but that's fine. Okay, switch it over to a resource drone. Yeah, I, I wish the resource drones would just fly from the localized collectors back to the base or something like that, and it's more of kind of a transportation issue. The weird part is just going to be that they're going to be flying all over the place just to harvest. 
every everything. Okay, we don't have much for power. We do have a shotgunner. We do also have the wall. Let's see. Well, this is awkward. At least it's really easy to build and rebuild. Oh! They got rid of the old uh, power AoE system. Or maybe that's just this giant square that I have access to. I bet that's the case, actually. Okay. So we need more collectors. Well, I guess when it comes down to it... Oh, Enhancer. Resource productivity of all adjacent tiles in a 3x3 three three area. Understandable. Okay. Let's just crank up our gold storage. We clearly have the space for it. The heat is a bit of a concern. but only a bit. Okay. I'm gonna just spread this out for the time being. See, something like that? Yeah. It's not gonna be perfect. But we might as well spread out so we have kind of like a much larger setup. Probably going to want some drone ports specifically just for building. There we go. Expand your area of control and claim more territory. Can be placed adjacent to perfect. Okay, so now we can build a lot faster. Uh, let's go back to the enhancer at level 1. I wish I could specifically see the enhancement. Oh, question. Can I put the enhancer here? Oh, I can. So what I really want to do is put the enhancer like in the middle of each one of these, instead of Collector. Okay, I'm just gonna extend up. And extend over. Here we go. Close enough. It doesn't exactly match across the board, but that's fine. Let's get more of those. Okay, so what do we got next? That's logistics. Here are the shotgunners. We do have the energizer. Turbine. Don't have the area cooler yet. I guess next order of business is back here. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe I can do five? Five? No. Huh. I was really hoping I could put shortcuts on those, but it doesn't look like I can currently. Is this the full release? Nope. Not even close.
Okay. Tax my poor drone network like crazy. But we might as well just get this rolling. Okay, large attack coming from the south. yet. We don't have any snipers, and well, this will be fun. Okay, so you need to be a resource drone. Wish these were delineated a little bit better, but it's okay. gonna load up on shotguns as well. Do we get to see this attack coming? Not yet, but we do have the ranger, which is not- oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, let's just get some rangers up. Okay. Now we have the area cooler. To put something on the hotbar, it's the bottom right of the menu with you click or something. Ah, assigned to hotbar. Got it. I think what I've got is probably fine. Switch to this resource, and yeah, it looks like we're fine. At least currently. Okay. So, money is kind of flowing in. We need more money drones, though. Like, a lot. I just... I wish I knew how many mining drones I needed per location. Because I... Like, if, uh, if the circle's filled up in the center of each mine whenever they're full, that would work. Or just some kind of feedback. Because the current mining drone system is neat. But I have no idea how to optimize it because there's not enough information given to me. Okay, so what do we need power-wise? Turbine needs 5,000 power. Oh, so I actually have to have. Because this gives me more space. The grid. At least it can be built outside outside of my territory. Okay, big attack coming from the west. Okay, and we're just going to assign this. Defenses. S Ranger. Assigned to hotbar. One. There we go. And we now have the sprayer. It looks like there's levels to some of these, which is kind of interesting. Yep. 
Is that the big attack? I have no idea. It definitely doesn't seem like I need to worry about heat as much as I used to. Nor money. Okay, that's a chunky sucker. Hopefully it's fine. Okay, so there's the big, big wave. Grab a couple of those. A couple more builder ports. Okay, resource drones. More resource drones. There you go. Okay, let's just load up on snipers for the time being. I don't think I'm going to think too hard about how I'm handling any of this. That might be too many money drones. We'll see. There we go. Hey, thanks for checking out my game again. Hope you're enjoying the update so far. I am. The money drones are confusing as heck and I'm not sure how to optimize them. Uh, I think a lot of it just boils down to, I don't know how many resource resource drones I need per field, and they seem to just kind of fly wherever. Uh, I've just been piling tons of them in each location, and it seems like they're getting used, so I don't know. Easiest bit of feedback would actually just be have the little circles in each of the, uh, the mines denote how full they are at any given moment. But yeah, you can never have enough money drones. That's fair assessment. Oh, you know what? This would be a good, good spot for a sprayer. Also, other quick thing. If you could get this listed on Twitch, that would actually be really nice. Because uh, I don't think there's a Twitch category for it. And I don't think uh, it's quite at the point where it's going to get like tons of people streaming it. But uh, it's so much easier for me to stream a game if it actually like has the category listed. Oh. Also, thank you, Core Unit, for gifting a sub to Killers. Okay, big attack coming from the west. I think I'm fine. Okay, let's go back to logistics. Enhancer, assign a hotbar. Let's have it be eight. There we go. Okay. A good way to tell if your setup has a bottleneck is if your drones are dropping over a thousand gold into your storages with each deployment. That is... That is actually really helpful. Thank you. Oops. Okay, turbine. We now have power. Ooh, that's a chunky son of a gun. Okay, defenses, sprayer. I don't know how much we need to fear here yet. Lost a little bit of wall. Perfect. So 
So I think I have too many drone ports here. Okay, this, we need one more over here. Okay, get a bunch of those. That's how we doing. Oh, boy. Get a sprayer on that corner. Okay, what else are we working on? Actually, possibly another sprayer. That looks like the, a bit of a big... That's a big wave. All in for a hot second. Okay, so it's 40 heat per one of these. And very expensive. And this is... We'll just kind of roll with whatever. Only immediate problem is... Oh no, these, these guns did get completed. Okay, I think we'll be fine. Alright. So we should probably start thinking about our next major couple of annexes. North seems to be flusher with cash. That said, this spot looks real good. Realize that it is, it is currently the one that is under attack, but you know what? Is fine. Okay. Um In retrospect, maybe I should do this a little slower. That guy is just going to plow through whatever remains of my shields. Including my energizer. Hmm. I'm just going to do that for the time being. It's... Frankly, it's fine. gonna get a sprayer there for the time being. As long as I can get this at least somewhat set. I should probably prioritize getting the guns down first more than anything else. Oh, here's another option. Just actually start getting further out layers of builder drones. Because it's not like they have to go anywhere specifically to grab stuff. Okay. That'll do a bit better. How are we doing? Pulsar needs a drop chip. Chiller... Or drop ship. Chiller is going to take a while, too. Okay, logistics enhancer. Alright, let's... Let's make some money. Let's 
something like this. I don't know, this is gonna mess with me a little bit, but it's fine. Oh god! Um That's maybe not as bad as it looks. But it looks pretty bad. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume it is bad and act accordingly. Unfortunately, I think all of my builder drones are currently focused on getting the money. And so these guys are just gonna have to well, no, they'll do it. We're good. Watching them all just splat apart is good. Oh, this music is nice. Was this music here previously, or is this is this wholly new? Right, let's take a look. How much are these guys making per per trip? Three eighty. Nine twenty. Okay. So we could probably use more. Did we end up finishing this? Nope, we are still too poor for that. Okay. Gosh. Well, I mean, on the plus side, they're attacking probably one of my more heavily defended areas. Ah. That's the other issue. Big bottleneck on power. How expensive are these again? 25,000, so I guess we gotta start saving up. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to afford anything. We might wanna just chill on expansion for a time and get some turrets down. Or not turrets, turbines. Because clearly, I'm gonna need a lot of power here. power does this produce? It says zero. I think it provides 500. Okay. How is our fortress looking? It's looking pretty good. There's a couple of spots they could probably just use, like, a, a turret here and there. And yeah, this side is kind of spooky, but doesn't scare me that much. Let's see. Money storage. We are... Decent. We're more than decent on money storage. I'm pretty much capped on it currently. I want to expand, but considering how close we are to the heat cap, we should probably wait. Let's see. 1500 heat. Place 10 chillers. Dark saws. Defeat the second guardian. Ooh, second guardian. Play some radiators. Eesh. Research lab. We just got to defeat the first guardian, which I'm assuming is 10,000 heat. Well, I'm going to be an absolute uh, coward for a little while. Maybe head for the fusion reactor. Same thing with the area freezer. See, so what are the rules for clips? Like, where to post them? Uh, best place to post them is Discord or the... Uh, or just the uh, clip contest. Let's see, whatever it is. It's not a command. Frankly, though, I just go down the list and routinely call all of the bad clips. So it doesn't really matter too much. I've tried other means of organization. 
that's what ended up working out the best for me. It'll take a while. Probably be faster if I specifically had... Uh, if we go until the next Guardian, but... I don't know. Now, is this... Are these considered level 1? Does it say? No. So, unlike the guns, there's no level system on... On those. I guess it makes sense. I'm just going to have some builders all over the place. Okay. Fairly comfortable. Yeah, every time we get past a certain point, it makes a new turbine or a new cooler. I'm not feeling like the coolers are really taking down too much of my heat, but I have a lot of them. So, like, it's got to be doing something. I think it's mostly just offsetting the turbines. Ooh. Okay. We might have to just accept that we're going to need to raise heat regardless. Uh, let's see. Bug in the current update that can cause visual glitches on fresh saves. Gotcha. Alright. keep getting bigger. I'll just wait until the first guardian. First guardian is massive. It's so cool looking. Uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe maybe we just go all in on heat for a little while. I'll let this finish cuz we're going to need the power anyway. Oh, here's one thing I can do. If I want to free up at least a little bit. Because the interior defenses just aren't going to do me a whole lot of good anyway. Okay, how are we doing down here? Bad, actually. Oh. Okay, Pulsar dispenses high concentrated energy that pierces through multiple enemies at a time. No. Pulled it off. Oh, the Pulsar is the rail gun. Railgun. There we go. Railguns are always a favorite. As long as they've got the turning capabilities to deal with it. Looks like they just cost 40,000 gold. Okay, unfortunately, I think we're gonna... It's gonna take a little bit before I can get all those down. wonder if you ever recorded the Far Cry games. I played Far Cry 5. That was it. I kind of want to play some of the other ones, but it's like, I don't know. Ubisoft games are more of a endurance test than really fun after a certain point. And that's something that's been getting to me. I've been, I've been really digging the shorter, sweeter, more like satisfying experiences lately. Okay, so we got power for days. I'm thinking we just head here. Work towards just getting a couple of things.
Okay, sprayer there. Okay. Seeing as this is going to be my, like, go-to forward operating base for new zones, I'm just going to get a bunch of them. Okay, I'm just going to get kind of bananas down this. We'll clear it up accordingly. The biggest issue is just utter lack of funds. But that's okay. Not a lot of really big deposits around here, but maybe I don't need big deposits. There we go. Split it down. And now we can really cut this down to just like one. Honestly, frankly, a shotgunner might have been just as good in that exact moment. Okay. Do another energizer. I'm just going to take all of this. Uh, let's see. There we go. Take that. My kid shredded. Looks like the shotgunners are actually just more than enough. Okay. Big attack coming from the west. Okay. Oh. I've hit my heat limit. Nope. We haven't hit it yet. Spawn at 10,000 heat must be defeated in order to increase your maximum heat capacity. If you aren't ready, consider placing down some area coolers and prepping your base first. It'll spawn in the north. I'm just getting those rail guns. Makes a difference. Well, I think I've got a pretty functional base here. I know there's a hole in that wall, and honestly, I think I'm just going to leave it there. It doesn't seem like the enemies are particularly adept at exploiting weaknesses. They really just kind of charge for various points in my defense. It's not spread out. They very clearly have, like, points that they will focus on, and I'm not entirely sure what draws them in. But I bet if I could learn how to, how to specifically convince them to attack, like, this spot... Maybe I could exploit that uh, to some ridiculous degree. But either way, I don't know. For now, it's a lot of fun. This is exactly the kind of game that I go bananas for. Games that involve a lot of turtling, uh, tower defense, base defense, some econ, neat research, and a whole bunch of different guns that you know has a lot of different flavor. One of my small concerns for this game is that a lot of the you know basic guns kind of drop off in terms of capabilities. I'd almost love to see this game go full... Uh, infinito tower defense where every every tower is generally viable some are a little bit more viable than others but you know the further you go on in the tech tree the more specialized the towers get but also the more effective they are at that speciality uh i don't know uh, speciality specialty i don't know i've heard it both i know it's specialty but one's probably a regional pronunciation anyway i digress vectorio is fantastic and Best of all, it's actually free. Uh, so if you like what you see here and you're kind of interested in trying this out yourselves, it's on Steam for free right now. And I think eventually the, dev 
the developer is going to charge for it. I hope he does for his sake because this game is fantastic. But for now at least, you can play it yourselves, give some much needed feedback to the dev, and just have some fun with it. It's a solid like three hour experience before you start running out of content. And even then, if you want to just be kind of nonsense, you can keep going. There's there's even more content that I'm going to show off uh, in this mini-series. But, I guess with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm going to do a micro-series on this one, and I'll come back for update 3, 4, 5, however many it takes until this game's done. So until then, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.